here, and the name of that is Crimson Red. And then 925, see we're going in order here, and the name of that is Crimson Lake. So uh, we went from Scarlet Lake to Crimson so that's Red. That's what it is. It's a reference material for you to look at and to help you and while I'm starting to do this I'll just talk for a minute on um, ways that you can use colored pencils that are probably the most effective ways and this is just this is not drawing with the red and just starting with the darker areas okay, now this cherry in the and again, I'm looking at the darkest areas and putting just a little bit more pressure on the pencil in the darker areas. You have to be patient. The ability to uh, to really have a lot of control over the the values and the colors is really important. I think, I think that's because we're putting just down we're putting down just a little bit of uh, of color here first before we layer on top of it. And um, kind of the cherry. We're going to go darker still with this, but this is a good start. Well, this isn't super dark, but there's less of this darker red that happens on this cherry. But slowly we're starting to see the form of the cherry take shape here. It's like Prismacolor. Right. Where if you don't take the risk. If some reward is requires some type of risk and you don't take it, well you won't get that reward out of the blue and it'll just make the darks just a little bit darker make the shadow a little bit more natural looking and we'll just do that here and there go crazy and go in all different directions we want to follow the cross contours of the object that you're drawing in this case a cherry and I've seen some really incredible successful ones but it's a time investment, a pretty big one too. So just lighten up this area just a little bit with a light layer of white. All right, we'll go ahead and make some of these areas a little bit lighter. Now there's quite a bit of interesting value changes and color changes that happen on the stem as well. And we'll include those. Go a little strong up here to find some of the lines that happen up there, and some of the crossing that right. things get as dark as they need to get to be realistic. Make that mm -hmm. contrast a little bit stronger between the shadow and the highlight that's happening on the stem here. I'm going to get real strong down here at the base. We're going to go ahead into those shapes that we drew at the beginning, and the bug is back. So that's exciting. There's always always something crazy that's that's bound to happen. All right, now we can get pretty strong with our uh, our blue. Have a uh, vinyl eraser for this, but the needed eraser is just sitting here, and we can just clean up the edges just a bit if we wanted to. Um, 